hear that guys? Running smooth as silk. That wasn't the case just a couple of weeks ago, guys. My unit was making all kinds of noises and I called different repair units. DC technicians and they wanted to charge me an arm and a leg to fix this unit. So I'm gonna show you, show you guys how to save money when diagnosing your own AC system and how to fix this issue yourself, how to do it yourself and save keep hundreds, even thousands of dollars in your pockets. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Check it out. Hey YouTube, glad you guys could join me today. I wanna to talk to you about saving you thousands, or hundreds of dollars on fixing your AC. Guys, the AC unit, the AC system of a home, even though it sounds complex, it's really, uh, it's really simple to troubleshoot. And if you're having issues, I'm gonna show you the trick to uh, find out what's really going on if, if the your air is not blowing on the inside or air is hot, something, your unit is making noise outside. I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it. So I had this issue a couple of weeks back. <clears throat> I already repaired it, but I'm gonna go through what I did to fix it and tell you guys what happened. So you might be having this same issue. Uh, the fan is making a lot of noise, um, just a, a weird noise. And that's how you can diagnose a lot of problems, guys. Just listening to weird sounds, sounds that, that are normally don't come from your unit or anything that you're trying to fix. But the unit was making weird sounds. Uh, I would be in my bathroom and I would hear the, the fan making a loud noise and I'm like, something is going on. So first I thought the fan was, was I mean, the motor was going bad, which it was. So I just put a little bit of DW40, uh, I took this off, so really to take this thing off, the shroud off, all you do is unscrew this with your compact, whatever compact you have, um, and you have to flip the motor over, you can keep it attached to this, you don't have to unscrew these screws, flip your motor over, and it's just one bolt that's holding the fan, you will unscrew that, and uh, what I did was I screwed, I mean I sprayed WD-40 inside the, uh, the motor, and it kind of lubed it up a little bit for a while, but uh, my motor was still bad so I had to replace the motor so when you're replacing the motor guys it's not really that hard all you have to do is again remove these screws and once you do this part first remove this first then you want to unscrew this this is securing the motor to the unit um, it's real simple guys just replace it um, pull it out of there and your new one will come with all the wires and how you can find out what what motor you need and what unit you just take this information off of the sticker that's on your unit so you give them the serial number of your unit you see it on here and you can just check on amazon or call your local ac place to let them know uh what you need but i want to tell you guys also before you ever start working on the unit pull your fuse out cut the breakers or whatever you have to do but this is my breaker right here pull it out that way you're safe uh, it doesn't kick on while you're working on it um, and nothing bad will happen so definitely cut the power to the unit so but that's if your motor is bad and you want to replace that the first thing I would do before I change the motor is check if it's it's not spinning or it's not coming on what you wanna do is change the capacitor. Guys, this is an easy fix. This part is 15, 20, 30 bucks, even 50 bucks. But you're saving on paying a, a, a AC technician that'll charge you another 250 to just come change out this part. And the secret with this part is, just take your picture of where the wires, how they're, uh, where they're located that way when you come with your new capacitor, and this is the capacitor, guy, this silver piece. Um, take your picture of how the wires are installed, and when you get your new one, just put the replace the wires where the original ones were, and that'll tell you. Um, that'll that should fix your problem. Because a lot of times what happens, guys, is that 
it's so hot especially in the summertime these things get overheated they swell up and they stop the fan from kicking on stop the motor from kicking on and that's why you're, you're getting hot air inside of the house because your fan is not kicking on but i would definitely change this part out first change this part out first because before i replace this unit this unit is fairly new it was about it's only probably about three four years old but my older unit on my house i used to always have this problem and i'd always change the motor when really all i had to change was this this kept going out and this should be the capacitor this should be your first fix if that doesn't solve your problem next come to your motor and again guys your motor comes with all the wires because all this is all these wires right here the blue brown and yellow they're going to the motor this is what kicks the, the the fan the motor on for the fan and like i said the new units the new motors they come with all these wires